What's up YouTube, peace, welcome to a new video and uh, it's super hot. Another heat wave just hit New York City and today's temperature is like 90 plus and even though that might not be hot for some of you guys but I just can't take the heat so it's really hot. Oh, our morning weigh-in, I hit in at 181.4 pounds and even though this is not uh, a new low weigh-in, it's okay because I know my weight is going to fluctuate so I'm okay with that and uh, my goal for this cut is to get down to maybe 170 pounds or maybe 165 depending on how I look. So that's the goal for this cut is to get down between 165 to maybe 170 pounds. And uh, right now we are currently heading to the gym. Today is a pull workout and uh, instead of doing heavy weights, I think I'm going to switch it up and do hypertrophy workout today. So I'm going to go for uh, lower rest time, more reps and uh, more volume. So. That's the game plan and uh, oh yeah and uh, for breakfast actually for my meal I only have one meal so far and that is just uh, one cup of white rice 15 ounces of pork chops uh, asparagus and the secret spicy sauce that I made which is super yummy credits to me because I made it anyways that was super tasty and that was my only meal so we're gonna go and get this pull workout in and I'll catch you guys when I get to the gym What's up YouTube Pete? Just got done with the workout and I decided to do a voiceover right here right now so let's get into it. So today was a pole day and uh, coming to this workout I was not ready because I was so drained. I had no caffeine in me, only had one meal but we were able to pull through so we started off our first exercise with the deadlift and uh, instead of my plan was to do 3x8 with 215 pounds but what I did was I dropped one rep and I added an extra set so our set range was 4x7 for 215 pounds and uh, we warmed up with just the bar, threw on a 25 and then we threw on a 30, uh, 45 pounds which is 135 pounds and our last warm up weight was 135 pounds and after that we jumped into our working set which was 215 pounds for 4x7. <laughs> After that lift, I was super tired and I was ready to go home, but we pushed through the workout. So our next exercise was a T-bar row. So we have two plates on and we did that for two sets of 10. And after that, I decided to throw off the 45 pounds and add on four 25 pounds to do a drop set. So our first set was just the plate and then four 25. And right after that, we dropped the 25 pounds and we got that for another 10. And after that, we dropped the 25 pounds, got another 10, dropped a 25, another 10, dropped a 25, another 10. And then we just repped it out with just the 45 pounds. So today we are focusing more on the hypertrophy and more of the pump and more volume. So what we did was another superset. So our next exercise was the lap pull down. We got that for 10 reps. And right after we got the 10 reps, we hopped over to uh, the lat, uh, lat extensions. Sorry, I was, I was messed up on that one. But we did the lat extensions for another 10 and that was one set. So we did four sets of that. And then our last superset for our hypertrophy day was the barbell row. We did that for 10 reps for four sets and right after we did each uh, set we hopped over to uh, what is it uh, what's it called man I forgot what's called wait hold up I have, written, I have it written right here we did cedar row so right after the barbell row we did that for 10 reps and then we hopped over to the cedar row for another 10 and we got that for 4 by 10 and that was pretty insane I have a huge pump in my back right after each set and uh, I think I might incorporate more super sets because the pump is real. And then we hopped over to arms and we also did a lot of rest for arms. So what we did was we did 21s. If you guys don't know what 21s are, uh, I'll just explain it real quick right now. So what you do is you do seven half reps on the top. You do, you do that for seven reps and then you do seven half reps on the bottom. And after you do the seven half reps on the bottom, you do a full range of motion for arm curls for another seven reps and that's 21 right there. And then our last exercise for arms was standing bicep curls and I did drop sets with that for four sets. So what I did was I had the weight at 70 pounds. We got that for 10 reps and right after our 10th rep, we dropped the weight back down to 50 pounds, got that another, another uh, 10 reps and then dropped it down to 30 pounds, got that for another 10 reps and dropped it down to 10 pounds. And you might think that 10 pounds is really light at that point, but my arms was, had a crazy pump. It was so hard to even have a full range of motion, but we also got that for another 10 and we did four sets of 10 and that was our complete workout. And then right after that, we did cardio. The machine was broken, but I wanted to show you guys I did uh, 200 uh, cardio. 
200 calories, but the machine was broken. I couldn't stop it or pause it right after I do, uh, like when I have it for 55 for speed. But I couldn't stop it, so I had to reset it every time because I need to take a break. I can't run for that long. So we got that for another 200 calories, and that was a complete workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuce.